Listen, this is my problem, and this has been my problem since day one with people that get on YouTube and they, they have, you got people on YouTube, false professing Christians who have whole channels devoted to dreams and visions. And this is my problem. Yesterday I was at my grandmother's house and I got a chance to speak to with my aunt. I haven't seen her in a long time. And so we went to the my grandmother's you know living room and we had a chance to just dialogue one-on-one. -on -one. And <clears throat> I got to share the gospel. I took about 10 minutes to just talk to her about Christ and the gospel and how she can be saved from the wrath of God and her sin. And after I finished talking, the thing she said to me, it, it blew my mind. She said, she said, Keith, I, I am so thankful that you would share that with me. And I, 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 I am appreciative, but what you have to know is at my church, I, 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 I talked to someone and I'm like, who'd you talk to? She said, I talked to a prophet and, and that person told me that there's a date and I've got the date written down and I'm waiting on that day. This is what she's saying to me. I'm waiting on that day that the Lord is going to come to me. And I don't know if it's going to be a vision or a dream, but he's coming to me. He's coming to me. And I don't want to get any other stuff. You know, I, I appreciate what you said, but I don't want what you said to just jumble up that date for me. I'm, I'm set on that date, Keith. And you just just need to understand that I'm, 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 I'm awaiting that. And I, I'm sitting in my mind. I'm just finna go crazy. I just want to scream like. What are you talking about? And she just kept going on and on about this date. Some false prophet at her church that's popular with, with talking about visions and dreams told her that Jesus is going to come to her in a vision on this date and that she needs to be ready and don't let nothing else come and, 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 and twist that up for you. And I, and I had to calm myself down and realize that I've got to stop casting my pearl before swine. This woman is cursed. As it is now, there is no hope for her. God has her heart hard. And and the truth is, she's not a victim, okay? Because she wanted she wants exactly what that false prophet wants, and it's not God. So her heart is set on that false truth. And as it is, I had to let it be. I had to let it be. But this is part of why what people do with sharing these false visions is such a wicked thing. Because it's not about God. It's about them. It's all about them. It's about exalting them. It's about them becoming God. It's such a wicked thing. And the sad thing is, I don't think these people, and, they, and I know that they don't understand what they're doing. They don't understand the cost of what they're doing because they're unconverted. They're lost. They're completely in the flesh. Okay. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share a, a video of Vody Bauckham talking about the time a false prophet shared a vision, a dream. Said my grandmother's funeral. Where she sat waiting to preach at my grandfather's funeral. <clears throat> female minister, friend of the family, was about to get up and say some words. And the words that she said, she said, I want to encourage you, family. The Lord showed me last night in my dream that Granddad made it over. I was sitting there about to preach at my grandfather's funeral thinking, yeah, whoever you saw in your dream didn't know my grandfather. <laughs> as it is. You know, 